fractions. Compare fractions bigger and smaller. Sometimes you have to compare fractions. Which fraction is bigger, a half or a third? We could draw them as pictures, one half and one third. We can see that one half is bigger than one third. You can compare without drawing pictures. Sometimes you have to look just at the numerator on the top. Is two fifths bigger than, smaller than or equal to three fifths? The bottom numbers or the denominators are the same. And on top, three parts is more than two parts. A smaller number on the top means you have fewer parts. So two fifths is smaller than three fifths. Sometimes you have to look at the denominator on the bottom. Is four ninths bigger than, smaller than or equal to four fifths? The top numbers are the same. On the bottom, nine is more parts than five. The bigger number on the bottom means the whole is split into more parts, so each part will be smaller. So four ninths is smaller than four fifths. Sometimes you have to look at both the top and the bottom. Is two thirds bigger than, smaller than or equal to three fifths? We need to find a common denominator to be able to compare them. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. We need to convert the fractions to the common denominator to be able to compare. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number to keep it balanced. Multiply by 5. That gives us 2 times 5 is 10 and 3 times 5 is 15. It's equivalent to 10 fifteenths. What about 3 fifths? Here we need to multiply the top and the bottom by 3. 3 threes are 9 and 5 threes are 15. Now we can compare them. We can see that 2 thirds is bigger than 3 fifths. Is 7 eighths bigger than, smaller than or equal to 3 quarters? Find a common denominator. 4 is a factor of 8, so we can change our quarters to eighths. We convert to the common denominator so that we can compare them. So 3 quarters, 8 divided by 4 is 2. We need to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. That gives us 6 eighths. Now we can compare them. 7 eighths is bigger than 6 eighths. So 7 eighths is bigger than 3 quarters. Is 4 tenths bigger than, smaller than or equal to 3 fifths? We need to find a common denominator. And 5 is a factor of 10, but this time we could convert to fifths. The common denominator to allow us to compare them. 4 tenths and we divide this time both by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now we can see 2 fifths is smaller than three-fifths. Therefore, four-tenths is smaller than three-fifths. Remember, a fraction describes how many parts of a whole you have. The denominator or bottom number shows how many parts there are. The bigger the number, the smaller the part. The numerator or the top number shows how many parts you have and the bigger the number, the more parts you have. To compare fractions, you have to find a common denominator. Remember to multiply or divide both the top and the bottom by the same number to keep it balanced.